Belt, Putter Upper Belt. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much to the desk. We've got Ensign Vitality here on Nuke to start it off with. That's going to be wonderful. I really look forward to this game. And they're rushing right into the A-bomb side. Not giving us any time at all to intro this. It's going to be Alex going down next. Sergey picks up big opening kills onto the bomb site. And that's going to create a lot of space. They've got that smoke down for the bomb plant as well. This is looking great right now. Yeah, but Zalu on the flank, he's got to do something. He's dropped beautiful entries from Sergey. He does eventually go down, but the bomb is planted. And with three players defined, this defense is going to be hard. Hard press to make it work. Another smoke in towards Connector is just going to delay things and isolate NBK inside the site. That is the pistol round for Ents. Yeah, we really need to uh, we need to find a way to talk to the teams and say, listen, you need to give us like 10 seconds to just, you know, say hi to everybody. Can't just be rushing the A-bomb side like that. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit cruel, isn't it? I think it's a bit rude of them, personally. If, Very selfish. It is a little bit selfish, but if you are going to rush the A-bomb side, you should do it like this, like Ganser did. <laughs> so that worked out really well. So I guess we can give him that. Yeah, you should get two spinning headshot entries from Sergey. It's not bad at all. How are you doing? Was this now? We have a week of time now. How's yeah. everything been? It's been a good day? Seconds. It's been a... Well, you know, I haven't done much. I woke up at, uh, I'd say, about 1.30, I set my alarm for. So it was tough. You All know, right. Difficult to meet those expectations. Yeah. Really, it's, I can tell. Your <laughs> it's been, it's been a, it a stressful morning. Well, I'm I'm glad you, you know, woke up early, got that all out of your system, and, and you're ready now. That's really what's important here. Second round going to be starting, and we've got Mac 10s and AKs. French um, seem to love the, the Mac 10s recently. I'm gonna play with it all the time now. It's the Finns instead picking it up, and Ariel gonna be rushing right down and ready in case anyone wanted to follow him, which it seems like nobody is for now. And we've got some CCs and some Deagles on the Vitality side too, so things aren't really looking too bad. That's a pretty big investment though, so if you're Vitality, or I mean, yeah, if you're Vitality on the defense. You really want to get something out of this buy. A couple kills, obviously turning it into a win would somehow be uh, miraculous, would be magical. Apex close up to the door. I don't know, I don't think they have the information that someone is actually downstairs on the end side of things. No, they might not know. It, it feels like they're a little bit confused at the moment, but... Um... I, Ariel's in vents, so I mean, at, at any one point, he can cause a lot of havoc, and he definitely is a great pivot point for Ents to utilize on this offense. A little bit of a stack and ramp room, but very quiet across the map for the finish attack. Really just spending a bit of time here, hoping for a mistake. Vitality not really being very active at all in trying to figure out what's going on. And Ents, well, they've run the clock down very low, and they haven't got much out of it, It's aside from the uh, event player. Oh, the timing for Saibu, but he's going to get a return there, Sergey, on the other side. That's actually critical, and Ariel will pick up Apex, so... Still opening up the map quite nicely for the Finnish side. Yeah, this is where it gets really difficult for these CZs and the Deagles, or the CZs, I should say. We are in Europe. So Give it up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Too much? Yeah, it is. MBK waiting. Would love to find something. Here's Alex. One of MBK can win this fight. All of a sudden, there'd be a chance, but Alex is stuck inside the bomb site. They're both forced into an attack, an awkward fight. A That's second close. round for Ents. Yeah, it was a little close. Look at that HP. They could have done a lot if. If they hadn't got that really quick return kill on Saibu outside, he would have got the free kill and, I don't know, a lot could have changed. But it's still going to be 2-0 in favor of the T side. And we'll see. A lot of the HEs. Five HEs. I'm a big fan of this. How are you doing, Sanders? You good? You had a good morning? I'm doing, I'm doing really well. I feel like, um, yeah, I've just had, I've had a good time. I, I went to the gym. I actually saw Apex at the gym. Nice. So, Working out before yeah. coming in a headshot. Pip was there as well. It's all good. Love that. Oh, Ariel from above, his namesake, he's gonna find himself a kill with the MAC-10 at long range, those days didn't do anything. The results, the idea was there, we liked the idea, the, uh, the result and the consequences from those five nades, uh, not really what they wanted. How has that happened? As laughter rings out from the crowd. That's pretty mean. They're bullying him, they're all laughing at Alex. That's pretty mean, we've all been there. <laughs> yes, we have. Well, they know he's dinked at least, so 
Trying to see if they can find him, maybe secure the kill. Ooh, long range there with the CC, but the tapping a little bit tricky. Alex, oh sorry, Alu finally going down. Actually, Apex following that up rather nicely, but he's going to get caught out in the open. That was actually a Mac 10 long range, but it seems to work anyway. And that will be 3 0 for Ents to start the game with. Would have been really cool if he could have actually crossed that, not been taken down by the Mac 10, get the AK 47, and then you can either try and save it, maybe get one more kill. That would have been uh, very nice to have a chance for some more economic damage on towards Ents. As it stands in this 3 0 run, they've, they've built up uh, an extra buy, you know, one, one buffer. They can take a loss and not be out of money. There we go. In case you missed the original opportunity to laugh at Alex, we gave you the replay, so you can do it now. Laugh. Maybe he laughed as well. Maybe we can laugh with him. <laughs> That's you know? all you can do. Just uh, accept it. Now, Cyber has picked up an AWP, and well, everybody knows what that could be like. It's a flashbang for the setup there. RPK. Oh, he is flashed actually up on the rafters. Up on the hut as well. The back up an Apex is going to be getting the early kill there. Cyber with the, uh, with the AWP, and this just happens too quickly. We and just trying, to, trying to really be fast here in the first buy round. And Vitality was so ready for that. And we've seen a lot of teams that we've seen Nuke, you know, it's obviously not, not the craziest, like, mind blowing strategy, but we see them a lot in those first gun rounds for the CT side, trying to hit that upper bomb side very quick, take advantage of the fact that the defense doesn't have all the nades. They must have missed the timing because because Vitality was able to get all the way deep into those rafters above hut, and that just makes those kinds of hits very difficult to do, even even despite the fact that you're not running through flames. Yeah, because that was the one big benefit, I guess. But the flashbangs were even pretty good. It's like, yep. it's like they were flashed and all the way unflashed, and nothing even happened. Good Molotov there to block off one of the smokes. I think that's going to create maybe a tiny gap? Maybe. We'll see. So I was yeah, looking there, for it. There does seem to be a small one there. Maybe be able to spot the ankles. Yeah, he definitely would be able to if they crossed. It'd still be a relatively difficult shot to hit. Maybe not for someone of Zaiwu's caliber. Yeah, there are no difficult shots for him. Is that like, you know, it's just not, not something he has to deal with. He's going to need a nickname pretty soon as well. Oh, you already did that. It wasn't like the... the oh, the Reaper, the Reaper. yeah. Yeah. We could just call him the Reaper for short, can't we? Cool. Might be too long for Reaper of Souls. I don't know. Maybe I was... Diablo thing on my mind at that point in time. <laughs> that might be trademarked. It probably will be. Let's not get sued. Yeah. Apex is on the one side with Alexi B on the other side of that squeaky door, just waiting for a minute. Looks like they still might want to try and explode onto the A-bomb side. Possibly, uh, if they're feeling really fresh about it, they could try and, and you know, squeeze in through Mini as well. I really like those plays. I especially like the, the mini play people do it really quickly sometimes. That's fun. This is super interesting for Mentz, though. I think all they really have left is either to blow up into that upper bomb site or, or maybe if they adjust towards ramp. But, you know, f 35 seconds on the clock, they haven't done much. It's all in this hit, and Apex, he just turns the wrong moment for a flashback. That is a cool beat from Alexi as he comes in and a second kill to crack open the upper bomb site. And there might not be any difficult shots for Zai Wu, but that is a difficult scenario to put yourself in a position in heaven with that AWP. When both your teammates have gone down and they call a quick save to preserve the weapons. Yeah, instantaneously almost, they just give it up. So a bit of a bad uh, timing there for Apex. I'm surprised that RPK's flashbang didn't do more. It felt like, like three of them ran into it, but they just, they just got the shot of him in anyway. So that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. A lot of weight on you when you're that uh, low bombsite player. Because when you go down, you could just tell nobody can even come up to help you. So you almost have to get a kill and buy more time to stay alive and all the rest of it. So didn't happen this time. That's really huge for Ents. While we're, uh, while we're letting this round kind of uh, tick away. Go on. Crazy is about to be on 10 to 6 over Fades oh. on the B stream. So if you'd like to watch that, Starladder, twitch.tv slash Starladder underscore CS underscore EN2. Oh. All right. Nailed it. You've really got it going on. It's good. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Hunter's cousin team versus Nico's cousin's team. It's, yeah, it's a strange affair. It's. I kind of like it. I think it's good. We've got a real story building. Yeah, family turmoil. Ooh, no, that was a perfect flash. I think he just he just obviously had the angle before he got blind and... Didn't care, apparently. All you can really do in that situation is hold the trigger just and pray to whichever god you believe in. Meditated his way out of that flashback. <laughs> really cool. Well, we've got uh, AKs and that AWP now on Alu, and we we were really quite pleased to see Alu orb yesterday on Inferno. He was just looking so crisp and smooth, and well, they're going to need that against someone like Saibu, so timing not working out. This time, I mean, there has to be a limit to what this man can do anyway, so let's assume that if he can't see you most of the time, he also can't shoot you. That's... Oh, nice boost. That is so clever. Alu not even a little bit scared of Saibu. I, lo I love that. Yeah, game set and match from Alu there. What a flashbang. Yeah, even better. Ents looking really, really good. And it's so cool because 
this. There's a lot of stories about this team, but they're looking rock solid in this event so far. Alex going to try and come up the vent and recover the round. Alexi's looking for it. He had to have spotted the barrel. And now if you're Alex, there's absolutely nothing you can do for the time being. Anywhere you go, you're coming out of a smoke and you're at a disadvantage. There's 50 seconds on the clock. It ends as just willing to let him sit there and take care of the rest of his teammates. And now a four-on-one with his position known, and Alex just needs to try and get out. Well, he's there to catch it perfectly at the corner. They knew that he had escaped down the vents already. Triple kill for Alou and a double for Alexi B, and a fifth round on the board for Enz. This, the beginning of this match has really gone much better for Enz than I was expecting. And Vitality definitely... After a rocky start, although they can buy in this round, I guess that's that is something. Yeah, that is that is one thing you can hang your hat on. That is a beautiful job from Alu from all events. Ooh. An impromptu boost and triple kill for Alu. We've seen a. Uh, this has been like a tale of two vitalities in this event so far, because their previous games leading up to this were phenomenal, and obviously this one's not done. They have plenty of time to recover, especially in a best of three. But you'd hope you're not getting the vitality from the challenger stage. That was a bit shaky, a bit rocky. This is not the time for that. No, I mean, the, the dream surely is that that was the wake-up call to make sure that that doesn't come back at all. Um, I think that's how you had to... had to hope for that, being a Vitality fan, but... These calls we'll for Mentz, though, because again, they're postured as if it's going to be a timing explosion towards that upper bomb site, and just recently they've really, really abused outside once or twice. So there's an emphasis on the outside defense for Vitality. Apex and Alex, both in sneaky positions, that's going to weaken the defense everywhere else in the map, and it might even weaken how fast they can get to the lower site. NBK misses an opportunity for a headshot. Sai Wu rotating over, going to try and keep some space, but now that the utility comes in, he backs off, and NBK's got to sink into the bomb site. That's well played from the Vitality defense. Yeah, it really is. I'm kind of, sh I'm actually shocked that NBK stuck around to try and get that kill. He's going to go for one more. Keep spraying them down. A quick triple wave, and almost could have been a quad there. Just needed the headshot dink, but still, he did more than enough. And now it's going to be Sergey in a one versus four. The bomb is up there, but right now I think this is about doing damage more than anything else. Yeah, as many guns away as possible for Sergey. Man, like that was great for NBK. You're right. Like he didn't. He came back for that. It's almost like the call from Zaiwu came in that he was rotating, so NBK wanted to stick around to help him, and then and then Zaiwu bailed out very very quick. NBK obviously a massive hero with three kills on the round, and Sergey looking for any response to that smoke. Hearing the shots, trying to put together any kind of information, and he's just going to have to try and... He gets off and he wants to spam through, and Apex comes from behind. A second round, and Vitality avoid a pretty powerful reset. Yeah, that's great, dude. They steal a couple of AK-47s as well. They get to keep four people alive. And that's both rounds that they've won. They've kept four people alive, which is great. Obviously, you you, you wish you had more than two rounds. But yes. for those two rounds, at least you're surviving with enough players to where you can have a number of buys to keep yourself fighting, to keep yourself, you know, with a hold of this game in the early stages. Yeah, that's something to really look for, I think, and, and something that they, they need to sort of build something up on now. Their money's actually looking a little bit better than you would have expected it being 5-2, probably for that reason, so... Oh, the smoke's outside getting absolutely cancelled, but NBK will still go down to Sergey. And now Ariel waiting at the edge. There's just a gap there. Apex gonna be taken down. Alexi B and on the other side waiting. You might not know this, but it's both Saibu and Alex. Is he gonna even check for it? They might just forget about Alex at this point in time. He's turned his back there right behind him with two players. He's infiltrated the whole lineup here. A question of no. timing now. They lose Apex inside of Mini and RPK is gonna be going down. There's a huge opportunity. He makes a little bit of noise. He's gonna get the one kill. Gets Alu as well. Alex, he comes with the spray. He's gonna get the split roll. A magnificent clutch. It looked like it had all slipped away uh, yeah, and you have to be happy for Alex that he made that work wins the one versus three because he made a perfect play that was maybe just a half second timed late he turned away when he had the opportunity to get the kills before the attack even came in while he's wrapping around that box all of his teammates are dying and he had to just have that that sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach where he just realized he missed his timing with it a brilliant win though is gonna keep vitality on the board but an expensive a costly win that's very important right there. It's what I mean, making that play for your Alex, you obviously, you only have control of whatever you're doing. You can't really control how fast ends are going to be. If they wait like two more seconds, then maybe it's even timed even better somehow. It's hard to know, right? Well, the biggest problem with it is when Alex is out here, he's probably communicating. I'm yeah. outside. I'm going to kill two. I'm going to flank. And he's, you know, people are looking, his teammates are looking at the radar and seeing that blue dot outside, but no kills coming. And yeah. then you're getting killed from terrorists coming from that same position. That's where it gets frustrating, especially as a teammate. 
But all that frustration disappears when Alex wins the one versus three. Yeah, it's a good job, isn't it? We're seeing Frank, Frank being set up here. We've got Tech Nines in play. Just trying to rush in Apex on top of the heart. He's going to get the one and end the We'll lock down the other part of the side. No problem. A quick double kill. Ooh. Ooh. Even shooting him through the wall. I mean, why not? All right, Alexi trying to fake the drop down vents, the smoke to cover it, shooting out the grate. Hoping that's going to confuse some of these defenders to push and try and walk into his crosshair. 17 HP, another smoke drops is going to block his vision as well. And now he's got to be the proactive one. Really tough position here for him. I mean, again, a kill really does make a big difference right now. Vitality surviving with three members, again, would increase their economy ever so slightly. What more kill here? It's difference maker. We'll see. So far, they're not really giving much of anything. Apex, the only really likely target, I think, at 29 health. And he's getting he's getting impatient. It looks like he's gone searching. He was just in the hut before it was Molotov, kind of peeking in. Alexi now making his move, and that'll give Ooh. it up. A dead body that he shoots at. That's unfortunate. That's got to be frustrating. Zai Wu's already down in the lower bomb site, so neither of these is open to him. And again, making moves and then hoping that the reaction is... He can punish the reaction from Vitality. That's just not happening. Playing very disciplined. Almost gets that. Though. Alex down to 14. That might have actually opened up the possibility for a plant. What if... Um, what if our clear decals also remove corpses? Yeah, that would change the game, I guess it wouldn't it. What do you mean, like have it bound to a button and just press it? I have it bound to a button all the time. All right, hacky boy. <laughs> I have it bound to crouch, I think. So I just I clear all the decals all the time. Every time, every time yep. you crouch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, sometimes the corpses can be can be a little bit of a tricky situation, can't they? As, as we just saw, just pistols. Finally, the the ends attack. Ooh. Has been forced into the lower economy. Zaiwu with an opening kill. That's on Alexi as he drops away. No one trying to hunt him down, and that Molotov is late. Just on their heels, and the rotation is already into this lower side. I believe it's Alex who's ready and waiting, but actually he's out in the open now. He's in so much trouble. He needs to get into cover. He's dicked up. Here they are. It could be a shooting out. We have more pressure. That's from MBK. Backs him up perfectly. Job well done. Not getting caught in that moment. Bit of a quiet start for um for Saibu. I mean, I guess they've been smoking out a lot out in the yard, making his life a little bit rough. And there's been some rounds where that A bomb has been lost before he really gets put into play. You you would imagine that with the emphasis we saw on Ents in that upper bomb site in the first like you know you know eight rounds of this game, that has to be part of a game plan. Is just you know what? Let's just avoid Saibu. Let's not let him catch fire in this first half of Nuke. Yeah. Try and see if you could uh, prevent any kind of craziness. I wonder if that means they'll swap side wheel around. Just say, like, all right, fine. Y you know, if they're not going to come out here, or if they're going to be behind that wall of smokes, then we'll just do something else. That's the chess match, is who adjusts first. Do they move Zaiwu, or does Ents change their point of attack? But again, these wall of smokes, they're at least trying to disguise, like... There's no information on how many people are coming behind those smokes. This time it's just aerial. Previously we've seen a couple players, three players, four players. Alex again with this flank. He's got to be careful. Again, the timing's not with him. Again, he just narrowly misses his opportunity. Oh, that grenade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was perfect. NBK going to go down. There's two people on the other side. Spraying him through, so sort of an unfair fight. And now Saibu wants to... He really wanted to go and check that, but again, kind of grenaded away from the position. I'm, and RPK not ready for it. I really enjoy watching Sergey in that lobby. Swapping out to the M4 is Zywoo. We'll see what he's got blind. Sergey can't get the follow-up. Three on one for Apex, who's flanking in from ramp room. I really like watching Zaiwu play in towards lobby because you can see as some of the kills are coming out from his team onto the Vitality defense, he keeps getting like taking like just an extra aggressive step because he wants to punish that player in sight who's peeking into hut for some information. Someone might be rotating to get into a different position. Someone might just drop on towards hut, and that information is valuable for Sergey. So I think he's doing he's done a phenomenal job, obviously, with the entries and a couple picks into that upper site. Apex probably. Initially wanting to try and go for something, but I think he realized it was just going to be almost impossible coming through there. Kind of a sneaky position for, um, was it Alu or Alexi B waiting there at, uh, at Hut for, for RPK to return back? Uh, Sergey. Sergey, yeah, so just slowly, slowly walking into his cross there. I just wasn't even ready for it. You could see mentally he was just thinking about something else. 
a sixth round on the board now for Enns. Well, it's it's frustrating. That's what makes the play from Sergei so strong is because we saw RPK, he was on top of the hut originally, yeah. and that's a very powerful position. But once his teammates start dying, then he has to start considering, I need to be in a position where I can rotate. I need to be in a position where I can't be seen from mini, so I have to drop off the hut because, you know, I need to be safe from one of these angles. Well, it's a pretty open game still. I think six rounds for ends. Pretty good start. Little things looking decent. I wouldn't say it's at a point where, you know, either team can't just, just still turn this around and, and get uh, get a big win. Ooh, body blocking the smoke. Alex, that's should have making it work, isn't he? Not even using a Molotov. You like to see those things. Cost efficient. There's the flash for Ariel to peek in towards secret. Ariel and Alu working together. There are three players essentially outside this triangle setup. Nade could do a decent amount of damage and it will. It just goes far enough. 58 HP on Ariel of Molotov to try and force him into the crosshair of Zaiwu, but I think that missed its mark. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, he, Molotov. Knew, he knew exactly what it was for as well. He took a decent amount of damage as that spread. Did not want to walk into anything. And now MDK actually in a little bit of a scary position here. They are further out than he even realizes right now, but he's still going to be able to react. That's pretty quick for MBK taking down X7. And now it looks like they want to see if they can reroute this towards the hut. Alex, obviously, hearing that door open, it's Sergei to go down. He's just hiding in the corner. This is such a clever round from Alex. Little positional play, blocking the smoke with his chest, just all of it looking really cool towards the end. And Alu's going to be going down, four players surviving again for Vitality. As they saw, it's tied the scoreline here, 6-6. Six, six. They, they felt that coming. That, that setup outside really rotated quickly to get back in towards inner. Alex over by the door in the vent. Obviously, Zaiwu was up in heaven as well, so he was going to be quick into the action. That time, Vitality had a very good read of what's coming. And RPK comes out on top of Sergei, trades it back. Six to six, all tied up down the stretch. Mac 10 on Alexi. See if that means they're going to go for something a little bit more speedy this time. Maybe try and change the pace of the game. They're really early with the Molotovs, and it feels like that's exactly what's happening. Blowing out the vent, throwing grenades into mini smokes as well. And then they're going to revert back in towards the ramp room. This is a cool idea. I like this. To see Vitality are going to get completely caught off guard. All five members of ENS are here, and now NBK is back looking and saying, you know what? Actually, yeah, they've already made it past. This is really cool. Yeah, but Alex had the read. He's already downstairs. He's going to be the first time. His first kill goes his way, but not the follow-up. SMG from Alu. Too mobile. Zaiwu is here. He's going to be smoked off for the moment. He will be, but he's pretty close. See if that's going to make a difference. He almost took a bullet through the smoke there. Blue Apex has to be so careful. So careful. Just spamming with impunity. The bomb is already down. That Molotov actually goes back into the smoke, so that's really unfortunate. Otherwise, that would have brought a lot more time. Oh, the flashbang, it works. Now he just continues to spray, and he's going to get the kill, and they'll the round ends with a beautiful round. That was a very sick call. It really was. That, that was nice. I think that's that's the call for a round of your ends that you make, like, as an in-game leader. You're like, okay, this is our last buy. We really need to get a win here to have some... And that's, that's the one you've been setting up for. So much emphasis on the up for Bombsite. They've attacked it five or six times in this half, and then you just switch things up. And you could see, NBK, everyone got pulled out of a ramp room. Everyone co is coming up due to the utility dump from Ents into the upper site. And they get a nice win out of it. Puts them in a hugely advantageous situation. Vitality picking up a bunch of deagles. And Alu just charging the yard. Not even worried a little bit about running into any of that. Although maybe he should be. Alex is up there behind the container. Could be throwing a grenade that could take him down. Ooh, and the spam afterwards will. Did you know you could shoot through that box? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have years ago looked at all of the boxes on Nuke. What a stupid question. It is funny as well because the people don't realize, but and actually not this box, I think, but, but the red container and the blue container, they are, they're not, there's, there's nothing inside of them. They're just empty. Nice shot from Saibu. So it's like you're shooting through two thin panes of metal or something. Okay. I like that. Alu with the headshot on Apex going to start helping his team. Find some holes in the defense. NBK, you feel like he wants to remain aggressive, so he always has the information that they're not coming here, but it's RPK. He's going to get first contact. Sergey crawling around the corner. Good shot from RPK. The follow-up headshot. And X7 puts his team in a 2-1-2, but now Vitality know what's coming and where the attack is. 
Yes, they do. Oh, MBK trying to sneak through Cyber with one more headshot to take down Alu. Now he's picked up the AK-47, going to return a little bit of a fire through the bomb, though. It's on X7. He has a smoke and a Molotov and a bunch of other grenades, and Cyber's got no armor. So you would think that this is going to be tilted somewhat heavily in favor of X7 as soon as he can get the bomb down. The odds even further increase in his favor. Getting a bit close. I saw he's not sure if he's being faked out. Now he definitely knows. And it's going to go straight for the bomb plan X7. This is really a hard clutch for Cyber to win. He's already got the double kill. He would need one more headshot here to try and make it work. It can't be a long fight or the aim punch is simply going to ruin his life. And playing with the door, trying to see if he can fake it out with the sound just a little bit. Not sure at all where X7 is and now he's going to find out a second too late. Triple kill for X7 and a nicely controlled round at the end for him. But that was really close to the deagles working out. Unfortunately at this stage in the, in the half, the, the economy damage, getting those four kills doesn't really matter for vitality whatsoever and still going to have whatever they want in this last round, but very, very close. It's a tough one-on-one -on -one for Zaiwu to win, because you could be faked out so many different ways with this bombsite layout. That smoke could have been thrown, and he could have been gone back up to heaven and wrapped around to the upper bombsite. And you can see Zaiwu kind of second-guessing where that plant was going to come in, never able to get into proper position. I wish I could get reactions of Apex every round, just face cams of him. I feel like Apex should start like a Patreon, so that you can just hire him for a day to react to your everyday life. Rush coming in and Apex on top. Him and RPK handle it perfectly. This upper wow. defense has really solidified as the half went on. A seventh round for the French defense. Yeah, that worked out remarkably well. Another good hot defense there as we come to the end of the first half. We'll go to a quick break and we'll be back with the second half. Stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Ents and Vitality playing on Nuke here, a best of three game in the uh, 2 and 0 oh bracket. The winner will go right through to the playoffs. That's going to be exciting all on its own right now. I don't know. I mean, it's a great first half for Ents. They look really solid, really strong, but um, I don't think they've put Vitality quite in the grave yet. I think that they, they can still come out, you know, Jason Voorhees style. Hockey okay. mask on, machete, hunting teenagers, trying to have sex, stuff like that. Jesus. Those, what those movies about, right, basically. Well, yeah, there was the whole porta potty scene as well. Damn. That was a bit gruesome. That's great. <laughs> Ariel, long range, with that USP. Looking for the shot at the moment. He's seen one. Now he's engaged in the fight, and he's not falling back. He does have Alu to watch the cross as well, so a small bit of support. But at the moment, he's not afraid of this fight whatsoever, but he should be. RPK with P250 just annihilates him. Couldn't really see Alu, I think. Alu just playing cleverly at the corner. It's oh, my lord! He takes down two, just like that. He hasn't even reloaded yet. He just wants that. He's got three bullets left without a reload. And on the other side, X7. I could understand why he wanted to follow that up. That looks absolutely beautiful. Apex now, trapping Sergey in the corner and able to pick him up, swiping out the weapon quickly, and now it's a two-on-two. -two. What an intense way to get the second half started. Yeah, but the two ends players are out of position. Alexei's going to have to come up the vents, and Alu is flanking from the lobby. Zaiwu planting. Apex is actually deep outside as well. Here comes Zaiwu. Big fight for him to win, and he can't handle it. That puts Apex into a really aggressive position. He's got to get into this inner bomb site. A lot of ground to traverse. 
Hearing a little bit of jumping. The bomb is planted for him. Otherwise, this would pretty much be unwinnable. But now it still might be. Oh, and they even have a smoke as well. He's going to have to just guess it. He's got no health at all. If they guess right through the smoke, he's done. He's thinking about it. A little bit of a chance there. Doing the damage. Now they're body blocking it. A bit of a bodyguard situation. And Alu will finally take him down. And it will be ends to pick up the round. What, what an incredible situation. Uh, he had to line up so perfectly through that smoke as yeah. well. That's fair play to Apex. Nice try, but obviously, you're right. The bodyguard, step in front, take the bullets. Was that Kevin Costner blaming them? Is that with Kevin Costner, Whitney Houston? Yeah, that whole. I think I ever saw that one. You never saw that one? No. I thought it was a classic. I wasn't really much of a Whitney Houston fan growing up. I don't know why that should surprise you, but. No? All right. That's fair enough. Kevin Costner, though, was the man. <laughs> More of a. Waterworld. <laughs> Right. I don't know what that says about you, Moses, but yeah, I'm, it's fine. You know, I'm not going to judge that at, Listen, at all. He had gills. Gills. It's very, you know, very muscular upper body, all that. It's great. It's fine. I appreciate it's fine. Right after Dances with Wolves as well. That's a classic. Yeah, you're right. We forget about... Uh, That's a great flick. Well, aren't they remaking Waterworld? That Please, did yeah. that already happen? Surely they're not remaking like the biggest flop in movie history. They should make it into like a Netflix series or something. That'd be great. I would watch that. <laughs> of course you would. Alexi um, gonna try and delay things with the flashbang. He knows there's some pressure. Molotov as well to hold them back. And actually, that is so perfectly timed that it really neutralizes the Molotov that Vitality has thrown, which has got to be frustrating. He Alex on the other side. You be a little bit careful there. MP5 being picked up by. Always interesting. Oh, Alex is going to win the fight. CC close range. That's not good, because actually Vitality is coming back up towards the upper bomb site. It's Ariel who might be under a lot of pressure here. A couple of their players outside Zaiwu and RPK out in the warehouse haven't applied any pressure to the bomb site itself. Perhaps going to try and wrap around towards ladder, where there is no one. It's Sergei inside the bomb site that's got to manage two angles. Oh, there's one problem here, though, for Vitality. In spite of getting the opening kill, and that's the time that's left on the clock. 25 seconds. This could be fine if there are no hiccups, but any kind of speed bump and they're going to be some trouble just on the clock alone. Cyber goes down, Apex has got the bomb and he's going to get the kill on Ariel. Now 15 seconds left and still on the bomb side. Circuit, oh what a beautiful grenade, lands right on his feet and that means they should be able to get the bomb plant here. NBK with the MP5 taking down X7 and leaves Alu in a 1 versus 3. He's got to pick up one kill, but not checking the corner just yet and he's going to get double time and NBK to get the kill. But Alex would have been there otherwise as well, so huge win for the Frenchman. Yeah, what good calls in that situation. That one kill down low, it established so much map control for them, and actually I still think Ents in that in that situation, as as we know that Ents is, they, they played that very, very well. Sergey yeah. even not even getting faked out. He knows there's going to be a, an attack in, in through Mini that tries to take his attention away from the bomb site from up above ladder, and he doesn't, he doesn't fall for it. He actually gets RPK on the flank before turning to try and help. Everything right done by Ents to recover that round, and it doesn't actually happen. I mean, it, if, if not for that grenade and, and sort of taking right. down Sergei really quickly, I think even just a couple of seconds that that buys could make a huge difference. And well, yeah, if he stays alive a little bit longer, that flank coming in from Lobby is way more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, and then they have to plant the bomb. They can't even fake or anything. It's just, it's, it's all, it, it could be a real mess at that point in time. I like these deagles in Lobby, though, if anybody wants to show up. That's a, that's a fight you can win the deagle, at least some of the time. 60% of the time it works every time. Yeah. Another classic. <laughs> More recent classic. Not featuring Kevin Costner at all, but... Unfortunately. He would have been great as one of the weathermen in those big brawls. Oh, nice shot from yeah. seven. I think that's through the corner of a box, maybe through the wall. Just sending more warning shots their way, in case the headshot wasn't enough. Well, that, uh, I mean, it's almost like a, a mirror image of the previous round, except this time it's ends with that opening kill, and we'll see what it can afford them with these deagles. Vitality finally using their utility outside and starting to apply pressure. Just a two-man attack towards ramp room. Apex, on the other hand, pushing towards outside, pushing towards window, has found Alu. 
That's a really good job for Apex. Important to get that kill. Down to 24 seconds here, so again, I'm getting slightly worried about the time that's yes. left for the Vitality team. X7 going to be going down, and now on the cross here, the CC. 15 seconds now. They need to get that bomb plant. Don't stop for it, Cyborg. You're the one carrying. You have to get a kill, or at least get the bomb plant down very, very fast. And they're going to get it. 8 seconds. Oh, Alexis, he's here. He stopped the bomb plant. Only around an Apex. If he does not get that kill, I don't think they can win the round. I think they just run out of time. A triple for Apex, surviving on one health. My god, what a close round. That's very close, and I think if you're Vitality, with the way that these two rounds have gone down to the wire, you're saying, okay, those are those are kind of like the gimmies. Those are the warning shots that say we have to kind of speed things up or, or get going a little bit earlier, but especially attacking that lower bomb site. If you're doing that with 20 seconds, you, it's just a battle the whole way. As you saw, window, the two different doors that can be peaked. Someone can be behind silo. There's a lot of delay tactics in that lower bomb site you have to be mindful of. Yeah, it's not really good for my heart either. I can feel like it's, it's too <laughs> tense. Like, can we just leave more than 15 seconds? Seconds before we, we start to even make it close to a bomb site, that would be good. Alex gets an early spot jumping over the box, sees the sheer numbers of Ents pushing outside, and they're not stopping. He'll hear it the whole way, and actually, he wants the frags. Sees that in hand, so nothing valuable to lose. There's the first, there's the second, and I snap over. Ooh, that's even more beautiful! All four kills with the CZ! Showing off for the crowd. No one's laughing now, Anders. Nobody's laughing now. That's that's four kills with a CC. And he knew, you can tell that he knew from the very first shot what he had to do. Because he heard how many people were running. So if he, if he uses, you know, six bullets to kill the first guy, then he's going to get run down. What a genius. What a little genius. I like it. Would have been easy to panic, would have been easy to be, just be satisfied with two kills, which would have been fine. I mean, that would have been enough, right? But those, uh, those four kills put him in the lead for his team. 17 and 11 on Alex. 15 and 9 on Apex. On the on the end side of things, it's Alu with 17 frags. X7 with 12. So is Ariel, also at 12. Yeah, Apex. I think he just, he just said, put the baguettes in the oven, honey. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you have to at least finish it before we know if it's a terrible joke or not. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that we're, that we're, he's ready to go home, like he's ready to win, you know. <laughs> he's done. Move on to the next map. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. See how Vitality's T side can stack up. All five players in lobby, no one outside for the moment. Alex going to readjust to deploy some utility, deploy some smokes, and they're going to go for late control of outside. 10 to 9. What a great way to get a best of three of this caliber started. Just a close yes. game, nobody running away with anything. Both teams, I would say, playing really solidly at the moment. Still would like to see a little bit more crazy action out of Saibu, but Nuke is a hard map to do that with sometimes, and maybe he's going to get a chance a little bit later on to, to really shine. Don't see many maps where he's not doing that really. Aerial. Edge of the smoke, and instead of waiting, he goes aggressive against Apex, knowing a second player would come. Always a good idea. You almost always, I think, going to be the aggressive, you know, person in some of those moments. Because just standing there and waiting is is really hard to do. Well, that that position as well, he can see the shadow just yeah. a little bit, so he he knows the timing to get aggressive or to start shooting. So that little extra, like quarter second, really bails him out, makes that a powerful spot. It's not the way you want your first gun round to go if you're Vitality. Nobody falling on the end side. I actually almost don't even mind the fact that Zaiwu's having a quiet game. I, the, I think the last remaining thing for me to like have a little bit more faith in this Vitality team is, can they win without him? Yeah, but there's been so many memes about it as well. So I think, you, yeah, you might be right. And, it, and a quiet game just means he's doing about the average of the rest of the team, so fair play, you know? Yes. It's not like he's not playing well, just... Just not playing excellent. There's that level above, isn't there? No, I, I mean, I actually, I, I kind of agree. Um, I guess it's also bad news for the, for the Vitality team all around if if it becomes too much of a self-fulfilling prophecy that they have to have him dropping 30 kills every game for, for them to, to win. Yes. Which obviously not true. I mean, it, there, there is a, so much talent on this team outside of Saibu. It's just that. We've just seen, we've seen this, we've seen this play out too many times before throughout Counter-Strike where there's just one player who's probably the best in the world, but... He seems to be the only one who can perform on a team, and, and, you know, no one's made it work. No. You know, Kenny S and, you know, his various French lineups, that didn't work. Simple on Navi, really struggling to make that work. You on that, uh, show match? <laughs> didn't work out. Alright. Alright, ooh! That's Alex predicting the angle. And you got us here last time, I'm just going to spam it and see what comes from it. And Ariel gets caught playing the same spot two rounds in a row. Good call. 
Still plenty of time left for Vitality. We had a couple of rounds so far here in the second half where they really ran the clock down very low. So just going to keep an eye on that. I don't mind low, but... What worries me about this round at the moment is look at how aggressive Apex is with the bomb. He's kind of all alone and isolated. If the bomb goes down in this scenario without enough teammates around, there's no ability to trade, then, I mean, it's going to be really, really difficult to recover. Leg shot onto Alu. As Zaiwu with that positioning outside has been able to just kind of take his time and peek into the various defensive positions to try and find a kill, and NBK's forced to be aggressive. Yeah, he's very aggressive. They're hunting him down, but now, is there going to be the backup? Are they just going to try and swap it around upstairs for Apex? And that is actually the bomb going down. Saibu now, low time, and well, seven seconds, even with one or two kills, probably would not have been winning the round at all there. So, Enz take the lead at 11 to 10. That's a cool push in the lobby from Enz, because that really takes the yeah. decision-making away from Vitality. Like, yeah, you, you have a disadvantage in terms of map control and positioning, but once you force NBK to get aggressive before he wants to, the hit gets very disjointed. NBK goes down with utility that he wanted to throw for those players to get out of heaven, for the players to have a half second coming in through mini. It ends to take all those advantages away. Two in a row for the defense in a timeout, uh, pause or tactical, whatever you want to call it. Comes out for the Frenchman. Yeah, just to talk things over, try and figure out where they want to go with it. Again, all the love in the world to Apex for for giving us all these camera shots. I like the idea of him reacting to different things. You know, you know. He's like the guy you want to bring on a vacation, so that whenever something happens, you've got an Apex reaction right there, ready to go. Yeah, maybe we could just show him different like YouTube clips, and he would, you know, <laughs> that could be a whole content series on its own. Ariel, Ooh, that, that, oh well. It's a okay. rough couple rounds for Ariel. It really is. He got spammed through smoke in the last, now he just gets banged out from across the map. Another great shot from Alex. He had a scope and everything, right? Like, he should. He has all the advantages. Just doesn't care. Four versus five. Hard for them to get the org. Well, that would be great if they could, couldn't they? If they could get the kill on Alo as well and steal two rifles, that would really be something, but... They're a little bit hesitant at the moment. Again, letting the clock run down after that first kill. And they're going to time this perfectly. Alu just runs away. Just gives up any information he was going to have out here. Now he's found Zaiwu crossing over towards Secret. That's the bomb as well. Zaiwu going to come back and actually... That, that one's not spotted, so the fact that the bomb is actually coming back towards outside could be pretty dangerous if they rotate out of position. Alu, in terms of out of position, I'm going to fall back from this one right now. He's going to get two kills regardless, so what a huge round here from Alu, just being able to recover a lot of this. He's finally going to be going down, and actually MBK picks up a kill right in the squeak door. Suddenly they have a bit of a chance again. It's a 2-1-2 with 30 seconds left, and Saibu's going to go down to X7, so maybe it's going to slip through their fingers yet again. NBK, not quite sure where to go. One bullet here would do it, but he's hiding behind that stair over there, the stairs over there. That's going to be a tricky position to see without a scope and Ents will win up the round anyway in spite of it being quite close. Uh, it's some danger though. I mean you like to see that from Vitality. They've had a chance to win some of those rounds with the Deagles with the pistols that they've had to force into. 20 kills on Alu. Pretty impressive. Seems to be having a pretty good tournament so far actually. Yeah he's always he is another one of those players where it just seems like he quietly gets to 20. Yeah. And you're just like oh here he is. He had a couple very good rounds in the first half with the AWP on the T side. A couple multi-kills of the AK as well. Ariel looking to get aggressive after he's been destroyed outside the previous two rounds. An awkward fight for him, but he wins it, and Alu covers him from above. As soon as Zaiwu goes to try and help out Apex, he walks right into the crosshair. Good setup for Mentz. Nice teamwork. Those were some actual SWAT tactics one day for Mentz. Just one guy covering with the sniper. Did they go Flashing down through the ground. smoke, covering the high ground with the AWP. Yeah, you like to see that. Making it uh, look professional. Ooh, Ariel's still going to get taken down. Alex with a pretty good uh, peek there. I know, versus four. I know we laughed at him for that USP round early on, but he's putting together a very good game. Yes. He can recover from a lot of things, can't you, Moses? 20 and 14. Four versus three now. Still a minute left. Plenty of time, it seems, for um, for Vitality these days. They're happy to uh, happy to run that clock down. Sub 30 seconds. Alexi just waiting on the corner. Thinking about it. it but instead, it's going to be MBK to take charge of that with the Krieg and just takes it down. So he needs to get a kill and did. Now the shot on MBK. No problem there for X7. That's a nice cleanup and... Ends now getting real close to winning this first map. 
I like this this Ents defense though, because like as the rounds go on, as that gets deeper into the round timer, which Vitality is happy to let it do, obviously. You can see Ents when they're rotating in, they're all getting very centralized, you know, inside the bomb site, up above them as well. They're always in a position in those late round scenarios where they can help each other out. They're not getting, you know, disorganized or miscommunicated so that they're all spread out and individual fights are taken. Now it's pistols and it's a tough nut to crack, Anders. It is. Classic Molotov there to prevent the smokes from going up and yeah, well you see the result. Alex still gonna try and cross the road without looking both ways. Never do that. Ooh. Good shot with P250, but Sergey, who's been excellent at this upper bomb site on both sides of the map, is there to lock things down. Only 14 kills for Sergey, but I feel like he had some really, really impactful ones in the in the first half. It's five in a row now for Ents. Yeah, they've they're not just sort of building a bunch of rounds here, but they're also building a pretty good economy and, and they're keeping vitalities low. In this round, they at least have something to work with, but it's it's starting to get rough now. I was going to say, as soon as you mentioned that it was like 11 to 10, it was a good game, back and forth, no yeah. one's running away with it, and it was like, yep, I'll, I'll run away with it. My turn now. They really did, didn't they? Well, it looks like Alex up on the uh, vents up there at the T roof. That's usually where you want to end up if you are going to be throwing Molotovs onto the hut, which would suggest probably some kind of a, of an A execute on timing. See how they do. This is Ence's map pick. So a victory here, and they're just kind of holding home court. Nothing too crazy. And it's also the team that took down Astralis finally on Nuke, so we know that. Wasn't it Furia that had the first win on Nuke? Is it Furia? I think they're the ones that ended the streak, and I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. No, actually it was Ents, you're right. I have it a feeling you're wrong. Yeah. yeah, no. Oh, look at the Molotov there. You mentioned it a couple of seconds ago, and an XCB down to 8 health. That's not exactly great, but a little bit of backup, and Alu will take down RPK. So that's a huge difference. They try and chase him down the Molotov. Oh, it's he can't really do anything about it, and Alu somehow miraculously gets away. That Molotov stops him cold, but Alex is going to have a lot of space to work with. This is fight from Sergey. He wants nothing to do with this fight now. Got to back off. All three players from Vitality meeting up in towards Ramp Room, but what a tough decision. You've got Sergey with the AK behind you. You've got Alu with an AWP at the B bomb site, and you're not sure where exactly he is. Alu can do so much damage. First shot is his. The flick not in. The follow-up, nope, nothing. But he's still alive, and somehow all the attention is on Alu, and it's a heroic effort just for him to live that long. And it's put Zaiwu in an impossible situation. A 15th round for Ents and five chances to take the opening map. Man, Ents really making the most out of the fact that some of those players managed to live and, and sort of escape the first fight, just staying alive down there, Alu. Big task on him, and he came out way on top. 24 kills on him right now, 22 on Alex. Those are leading the charge at 15 to 10. Ents just need one more round. Wow, that's a, a great way to begin. Wow. Yeah, Al that's what I'm saying. Alex has uh, looked very crisp. He's done some very, very nice things for Vitality. Just unfortunately, this T side falling a little bit flat, even though despite... I think it's... Uh, this This is one of those games that feels like it's a little bit closer just because it feels like Vitality have had so many good opportunities. Not able to close them out. Same for Alu there in that round, the jumping shot. NBK is going to open things up with an entry. That's in lobby. Yeah, Ariel again having a bunch of really tough beginnings. They're all going to grow up in the corner. Alexi B. Is he going to be able to win this fight? Oh. Even if the smoke clears, there's so many people on the other side, it seems unlikely. And he's not going to know just how close they are. The smoke fades, and now he's going to see they group up in front of him, and he gets two big kills. Is that enough to make a difference? It's still a two on three right now. No one in the lower bomb Oof. site, though. Look at Alu, though. They're coming back out. They're not even checking for him. That's the bomb down. Alex, not aware that someone could have been in garage. And now they're actually... They've got a great crossfire here. This could work out. X7 and Alu. I don't know how Vitality gets out of this one. You're going to have to rely on NBK. You can see Zaiwu just being patient in secret. NBK telling him to wait. But if he runs too long, they have no idea. X7 is here. There's the turn. And NBK can't handle it. Now, just Zaiwu. Flashbang. Going to miss its mark. But Alu's not. 16 to 10. First map of the best of three series goes to Ents. Yeah, that was incredibly well done. What a run towards the end of this game. What, six 